Hello and welcome back to Trails of Cold Steel. Last episode we completed our um, we completed our practical exam. We um, escorted uh, Elise back to the station. She went back to Heimdall, and we're also uh, we got grouped up with Reen as with Group A being Reen, Fee, Elliot, Machias, and Lara, and we are now heading off to Heimdall. And Group A and Group B are both going to the same place. So let's enter Trista Station. Oh, you're all here. Ready to take off? Ready as we'll ever be. Alright, let's get our tickets at the counter then. Well, the capital's only half an hour west, so at least the fare should be cheap. Who are you, man? Hmm, sometimes I think Melissa forgets that I'm the one who goes out and brings home the mirror. Your life wouldn't be nearly as comfortable if it weren't for me. Hmm. Where's everyone else? Did they just go outside? Huh. I usually never check that, but they just weren't there. Oh, wait, they were with us. I'm dumb. Good morning, everyone. Let me guess, you're, all, you're headed for Heimdall this month? That's right. We'd like five tickets to Heimdall, please. Coming right up. You know, the Capital Summer Festival is coming up in just two days. I'm sure lots of people will be streaming into the Capital to celebrate, so be careful out there. We will, don't worry. I'm used to dealing with it. Uh, sorry, one second. There we go. Okay, that's five passengers headed for Heimdall. I'll have those tickets for you in just a moment. Passenger service bound for Heimdall, now arriving on platform two. We ask that all passengers wishing to board, please wait on the platform until the train has come to a complete stop. Well, at least we won't be waiting long. There's a train to Heimdall every half hour, after all. So we're really headed to the capital. I've been there a few times before, but it's still pretty unfamiliar territory. I've been twice before on family business. Same here. I know where Elise's academy is, but that's about it. Not to worry, I'll explain more about the city on the way over. It's a pretty big city, though. I'm not even sure where to start. So why did they give... Okay, I know it's because there's gonna be, like, story development for Ellie and Machias. And that's why they put us both in the same group. But group... Like, group B is gonna be so fucking lost. They literally know nothing about the city. I don't think any of them are... Any of them are from there. Maybe Emma? Laura and... Laura and Elise aren't. They just said it. V definitely isn't. She's a Jaeger. And maybe Emma? That's my guess. Alright, not too much longer till we arrive, so let me give you a quick overview. Heimdall is, among many other things, the capital of this country, which means it's the home of the reigning emperor, His Majesty Eugen Re Rees Arnor III. Even children know that. We need useful local knowledge, not a recitation of a travel brochure. Ugh. Well, Heimdall is divided into 16 main districts. Each district is about as large as a whole town in any of the empire's provinces. All in all, the city popu city's population hovers around 800,000 people. Wow, I can hardly imagine that many people all in one place. It's one of the continent's largest cities, isn't it? Indeed, it is. Crossbell is known for being a thriving center of trade, but its population is only around 500,000. Meanwhile, to the south, Liberal's capital has about 300,000 people. The public's capital is pretty big, too, but I don't think it's quite as big as Heimdall. Huh? Really? What? Oh, I was just wondering what kind of tasks we may be asked to do in such an expansive city. I'd hardly hazard a guess. Oh. 
but we don't know who our point of contact is or even when we're going to be staying. Who knows, maybe we'll end up staying in Elliot or Machias' home. I doubt it. My house isn't big enough to put us all up. But Machias' dad is the governor, so maybe we'll be staying at his place. I think that's even less likely. Dad spends most of his time in his official residence, so I doubt anyone's going to be at our family's place. Instructor Sarah said there'd be a guide of some sort waiting for us at the station, though she didn't mention who. That's the instructor for you. Honestly, she never really tells us anything, does she? Blade, Blade, Blade. Yes. Okay, let's talk to Elliot. I can't believe our field study dates coincide with the summer festival in Heimdall. I wonder if this is another one of Instructor Sarah's little schemes. I really wouldn't be surprised. Can't wait to see what horrors await us this month. The girl in the back looks a little too detailed. I don't know if that's just like they put a lot of detail into it or if uh, she's important in some way. The summer festival certainly seems to have caught your attention though. Is it really that great? Oh yeah, biggest in the country. There are all kinds of exciting events, including loads of music related things. Really now, that does sound fun. Hopefully you'll get a chance to drop by your home at some point too. Who knows, the gap is pretty massive after all. It's going to be a roll of the dice whether or not we're close enough. I'd really like to see all my friends again though, if I can. You seem kind of down. Is something wrong? No, it's nothing. I mean, we're going on a field study, not a vacation, right? We can't let ourselves get caught up in the festival atmosphere or we'll wind up with failing marks. I don't know if I've got the willpower to pull that off though. Well, all we can do is try. Go easy on me, okay? All right. Okay then, let's draw. Well, looks like I'm up first. Um. Okay. This is definitely gonna get bolted. It didn't. Um. Smear. Really? You're playing that now? Bolt! Bolt! Actually, I'm pretty confident. The same score means we draw again, right? The same score means we draw again, right? Looks like you're up first. Wow. Bolt. I didn't see that coming. You're playing that now? Bolt! Lost. There we go. Time to talk to Lara. St. Astrea's Girls' School is the, in the capital, correct? If I'm not mistaken, that's the school your sister attends. Do you think you'll be visiting her? I might, if I get the chance. The last time we saw one another was only a few days ago, though. I feel kind of awkward going to see her again so soon. I suppose it does stand to reason that even siblings would worry about such social fox paws. Oh yeah? You don't have any brothers or sisters, do you? I do not. I'm an only child. Although, I have been asked by some of the girls I know to regard them as my younger sisters. Come to think of it, they're enrolled at St. Estrella as well. Girls' academies sure sound like interesting places. Hope Elise doesn't get corrupted by her environment. You really are a devoted brother. Or rather, you come across as one who's devoted to most anyone, aside from himself. You think so? I do. Perhaps most much of this could have been avoided if I were more like you. She's got a lot on her mind. If only there was something I could do to help them. We will. We'll obviously help them. Then let us begin our duel. Please draw a card. The first move is yours. Mm. I'm gonna bolt that. <laughs> well played. Mirror? I didn't expect that. I have to play this if I want to. 
Divine Bolt. Divine Bolt. Divine Do you have bolt. enough bolts? God damn. I didn't expect that. Mirror. I messed so up. Well. We're evenly matched. Let's redraw. An excellent duel. God damn it. Let's talk to Machias. So this month's field study is in the capital. We certainly won't be staying at my home, but I won't be at all surprised if some of our tasks sent us there. Yeah, I guess your dad is a pretty busy man, huh? You have to be, governing a city the size of Heimdall. Busy doesn't even begin to describe it. He barely has time to come home most days. And with all the preparations for the festival, I'd be surprised if we even saw him, much less had an opportunity to talk to him. He's going to be the one um, waiting for us there, is he, isn't he? That would be a shame. It is what it is. I'll just be happy if we're able to fulfill some requests on his behalf so we can lighten his load a bit. Sure, we'll all be more than happy to help. You and Ellie are going to be the stars this time around, after all, so you get to call the shots if you want. Well, it is our hometown. We'll take charge of things while we're there. At least in terms of city navigation, we'll be able to show you the way to any facilities you need. Thanks, we'll be counting on you. I'm not going to hold back. I know, shut the fuck up. I'm only playing you because Well then, go ahead and draw. Of completion is safe. I'll go first then. Um, okay, I guess I'll play this. Now you've done it. Now you've done it. Sourpuss. Okay, time to talk to Fee. Not going to have long to enjoy the journey this time. Yeah, we're not straying too far from Trista. Do you enjoy traveling then? Somewhat. We used to travel a lot in the core. I, I see. Did you spend a lot of time admiring the view through train windows then? Sometimes. We traveled in airships and boats too. Sometimes we were stowed away in cargo holds so we couldn't see anything. It's not like she's deliberately trying to annoy Vara or anything. And I don't think Vara actually wants to be irritated by her either. There's gotta be some kind of common ground, something to help get them through this. What's the matter? Oh, it's nothing. Let the battle begin. We draw here, right? You're first, I guess. Guess we'd better draw again. You're first, I guess. Take this. Crap. Take this. We'd better draw again. I'm first. Take this. Mirror. Crap. Mirror. Damn. Looks like I win. All right. Let's uh, save here. And stop talking. Day twenty. The Ministry of Railways wishes to thank all passengers for their patronage. The semi express line is bound for Heimdall. Our next stop is Heimdall, the terminus of this express line. 
Please ensure you have all of your belongings with you when disembarking the train. Whew. Looks like we're almost there. Indeed. It doesn't feel as though our train ride was all that long. Well, Heimdall is just a stone's throw away of tr throw west of Trista. We could have just gone back to Trista at night. Well, yes, that's true, but... Plenty of people commute to work in the capital every day, after all. Zoom. Heimdall Central Station. Exactly on time. Huh? Oh, Wait, it's what? the ice, um... Ice Witch or what? Is that what they called her? Like, that's the nickname? You're sad. We met her in Keldic. You're from the Railway Military Police. If memory serves me correctly. You're Captain Claire, was it? That's right. I'm glad you remember me. I believe it's been about three months since we last met. So, this must be the woman the group who went to Keldic encountered. So this is an officer from the fearsome RMP? Um, since you're here, does that mean you're going to be the one assigning our tasks for this month's field study? No, I'm just here to provide a place for you to talk with the person who is. He should be here any moment now. Oh, here he comes. Perfect timing. Machius' dad. No way. Oh my god. I fucking... You could tell so quickly that it was gonna be him. Dad? Huh. I've seen him in the Imperial Chronicle before. Governor Regnitz, one of the reformists' most influential voices. So this is Machius' father. <laughs> this is the first time I've met most of you, so let me introduce myself. Imperial Governor Regnitz. I'm Carl Regnitz, Machius' father. I'm the governor of Heimdall and head of the local government. It's a pleasure to finally meet you, ladies and gentlemen of Class 7. Eight fifty. My apologies for the location. I would have preferred to brief you in City Hall. But I'm regrettably short on time, so I had to ask the captain here to lend us his room. Anyway, let's move on to confirming your assignments and lodgings. Hold on a minute. How did you, of all people, end up being the one to sort out our lodgings and tasks? It seems a little too convenient. Yeah, now that you mention it. If you wouldn't mind us asking, sir, how did you wind up as our point of contract contact? My apologies. I probably should have explained a little more first. It's actually a very simple reason. I'm here because I sit on Thor's Military Academy's Board of Directors. You what? How? First Yusuf's brother, then Elise's mother, and now Machius' father? It stretches the bounds of imagination to believe the Academy's choice of directors is mere coincidence. I can assure you, the three of us didn't arrange it for it to be that way. If anything, I was unsure what to do when the Academy's first offered the position to me. The Academy did? Would I be right in assuming there's some kind of secret reason behind the formation of Class 7? I'm afraid that's not my place to say. But whatever the case may be, I'm the third and final member of the Board of Directors. And that's why I'm the one who's prepared your field study tasks and arranged lodgings for all of you. Unbelievable. It's all starting to make sense now. Thanks for clearing that up, sir. Anyway, back to what you were saying before. Yes, as I said, I'm short on time, so I'm afraid I'll have to keep this brief. Your field study will take place over three days, of which this is the first. As such, the third day will coincide with the start of the Summer Festival. Each group will be assigned half of the city and tend to the list of needs I've drawn up for you. So one group will take the eastern half of the city and the other group the west. The city is big enough that it looks like we'll be working apart, even though we're in the same place. 
Indeed. I'm sure you've seen for yourselves how vast Heimdall is. If both groups were to rove around the entire city, you'd have trouble getting anything done. As such, I've broken it down so that all of Group A's tasks cover the area east of Ven Venqueer St Street, while Group B's tasks are focused on the area west of Venqueer Street. Must be an important street. I believe this street is the main thoroughfare that runs through the city, leading to the Imperial Palace. That's the one. As soon as we leave the station, you'll see it stretching out to the north. It's hardly a precise division. Precise division, but for the purpose of this field study, I'm sure it will be more than sufficient. Now I'd like each group to take one of these envelopes. Dresses and keys. This envelope looks just like the ones we usually get with our field study itinerary. But what about this address and key? Group A, Alto Street, 432-21. Group B, Vesta Street, 527-126. Oh, Alto Street? That's around where my family lives. Really? Yep. Can't say the address brings any particular place to mind, though. I seem to remember Vester Street being a main street on the west side of the city. Yes, it's a fairly lively working class neighborhood. Dad, are these? That's right. The address is the places you'll be staying while you're here, along with their keys. Both groups will be staying in different places, so I just suggest tracking down your lodging before you start your work. Think of it as a small orienteering exercise to help you get a better feel for the city. Ah, uh, my apologies. I'm afraid I'll have to take my leave now. Dad? Preparations for the summer festival will have me running from place to place, as you can imagine. I wish I could stay and chat a bit longer, but that's life and politics for you. Oh, and one more thing. Communications functionality of your architects has been enabled in the city. Good luck out there. Wait, hold on just a... I like to think he just fucking hurried away. He's like, I hate my son. I'm not sure what to make of it all. Since he's the governor, I was expecting him to seem a lot more strict, but he actually seems more... playful? I feel ashamed you had to see that. He's always been like that, I'm afraid. At least he manages to fulfill his responsibilities as governor, somehow. Actually, I've heard he's extremely good at his job. Coming from the background he does, he's friendly and down to earth, but people say he's a born leader, too. And Imperial Chronicle always paints him in a favorable light as well. I hear he butts heads with the noble faction far less than his fellow reformist Chancellor as Osborne. In politics, a friendly demeanor can just as easily be an act to sway popular sentiment. After all, there aren't many who can waltz in and borrow a meeting space from the RMP. Well, capital is the nexus in the heart of the nation's entire railway network. As such, the Railway Military Police finds itself indebted daily to Governor Regnet's good graces. This was just an opportunity for us to return the favor, at least a little. Hmph. <laughs> come on now. Well, thank you for allowing us to use this room for our meeting. We need to get our field study underway, so if you'll excuse us. Of course, I wish you well on your studies. If you'll follow me, I'll escort you to the station's exit. Well, this seems like it will be interesting. Incredible. It's so vast. Those sound like cars. Nope. Oh, yeah. This looks like it could have been like industrial London. But much, much cleaner. I'm dull, the Vermilion Capital. Besides, this city never ceases to amaze me. Way too many people. It only starts to sink in that I'm in the capital after I see an orbital tram zipping along. Is that what those little train vehicles are? I've never had the opportunity to ride one, but I believe they're used to ferry people around the city more easily. Yeah, they're the main form of public transportation here. They link all 16 of the capital's main districts. There's something of an icon here in Heimbo. Their fare is pretty cheap too, which makes them convenient for getting around. Lots of people use them so often that they just buy a yearly pass. Amazing, all that and so many orbital cars on the road too. Uh, is that a building off in the distance? That would be Valflame Palace, residence of His Majesty the Emperor. 
Although, from what I understand, Chancellor Osborne's Imperial government is also situated within... Yes, that's the case. Anyway, I'll be taking my leave here. I wish you the best of luck on your three days of field study. Thank you. Thanks for taking the time to see us off. She really doesn't seem like an army officer, does she? Indeed, though the railway military police are known as one of the Imperial Army's most elite divisions. Not to mention one of the branches most despised by the aristocracy. If a province has a railway, you can virtually guarantee they'll use it as an excuse to meddle in its security affairs. I've rarely seen them in Lagram, though judging by their actions during our encounter in the nature park, they did some seem exceptionally well trained. Yeah, even with the same number of soldiers, they had no trouble rolling right over the provincial army. And on top of that, the captain is so elegant and pretty. She even looks good in the uniform. Some people have all the luck. It's like she's everything Sarah isn't. <laughs> you could say that again. Though it seems like those two have more than a little history between them. Alright, I suppose we ought to get moving then. Yeah, we need to hop a tram to where our lodgings are, and find the dresses we've been given. We've got a long three days ahead of us, so let's give them our best. You can count on it. V, Laura, take care of yourselves. You too. May the gods be with you all. Take care. Alright, bye for now. And... Alright, but we're gonna end the episode here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Oh, sorry, I hit the mic there. Whoops.